This is Lesson 5, Unit 11, Buffers, preparing a buffer solution. Again, we'll be using the equation pH equals pKa plus log A minus over HA. So first, let's look at how a buffer works. Let's consider a solution that contains one mole of acetic acid and one mole of sodium acetate with a Ka of 1.8 times 10 to the negative fifth. So first, let's write a hydrolysis equation appropriate for using Ka, which means we're going to be using or making hydronium ion. So our equation looks like this, where the acetic acid reacts with water, and we make hydronium ion and the acetate ion. Now we're going to do the same thing where, uh, let's see what happens if we add 0.2 moles of HCl. And which species will the HCl react with? Will it react with the acetic acid or the acetate? Well, it's going to react with the acetate ion. And so we're going to have this 100% reaction. And we will produce the acetic acid again. And what's happened is we have mopped up the H+. And this is actually the term we use, mopped up. So the HCl we added was consumed by the acetate ion. Likewise, if we add 0.2 moles of sodium hydroxide to the species, to the reaction, the sodium hydroxide is going to react with the acetic acid instead. So now we are going to regenerate the acetate ion. And we are going to mop up the hydroxide. So OH minus is mopped up. So let's say we want to make an effective buffer. So we're going to look at preparing a buffer solution. So in terms of preparing a buffer, our requirements is that the buffer solution must control at the target pH. And so the way we do that is to choose a buffer pair where the Ka, pKa is very close to the target pH. Then we can fine tune the ratio of A minus to HA to meet the target pH. So we've been using this equation pH equals pKa plus log A minus over HA. If we choose a one-to-one -one ratio, that means that our pKa is going to equal our pH. So ideally, we want something where the pKa is as close to the pH as possible, so we can have a one-to-one -one ratio and have the most base capacity and acid capacity. So the acetic acid sodium acetate buffer pair would be used to control pH near 4.74, because that's the pKa of acetic acid. The buffer will control well as long as we're within plus or minus one pH unit. So that's where we're looking at using a log of either um, 0.1 over 1 or 1 over 0.1. The buffer also must have enough capacity to absorb the base and the acid. So if we use more concentrated solutions, then we increase the capacity. For example, we could use one molar in A minus and one molar in HA, and we would have pKa equals pH, and we could absorb uh, whatever quantity we have up to one molar. However, if we only use 0.1 molar, we would still have the same pH, but we'd have a much lower capacity. So let's look at a couple of examples of doing this. Uh, we're going to look at some commonly used acid-base pairs. So we've got the weak acid, the conjugate base, and the acid Ka. And then we're asked to figure out which buffer pair would you choose to make the following buffer solutions, pH of 7, pH of 3, pH of 9. Well, first thing we do is we would figure out the pKa's. So uh, already did this, so it would be 2.89, 4.74, I'm just taking the negative log of each one of these numbers, 7.21, so that's the negative log, 9.25, 
and 12.44. So if I want something with a pH of close to 7, I'm going to choose the system here where I get a pH of 7.21. So I'm going to choose the system based on phosphate. If I want a pH close to 3, I look down my pKa values and I'm going to choose the one that is based on phthalic acid. And if I want to control around a pH of 9, I'm going to choose the one that is based on the NH4 ion, the ammonium ion. Okay, so now we're looking at what ratio of CH3CO2 minus would we need to prepare a buffer solution with a pH of 4.30. Let me see if I can get that on screen a little better for you. There we go. So um, we're going to use pH equals pKa plus log of A minus over HA. And if we take the negative log of this value, then we have that pKa is equal to 4.74. I just took the log of the 1.8 times 10 to the negative fifth. So we have that 4.30, that was our target pH, is going to be equal to 4.74 plus log of A minus over HA. Doing a little bit of algebra, negative 0.44 is equal to log A minus over HA. So 10 raised to the negative 0.44 is going to be equal to our ratio of A minus over HA. And this is equal to 0.363. So that's our ratio of A minus to HA. Now the question was tricky and it asked for the reverse ratio. It asked for HA over A minus. So I just took the inverse of 1 over 0 0.363 and uh, doing my sig figs, that was equal to 2.8. Now either one of these really is an acceptable answer. But just watch yourself if you're on something like a multiple choice question and you run across something like this. The next question is what ratio of NH3 to NH4Cl is needed to prepare a buffer with a pH of 10, okay? So this one you are going to do and you can restart the video when you're ready to check your answer. Did you remember to convert KB to KA? If not, Pause and try again. Okay, so let's take a look at working the rest of this problem. You need Ka, so you're going to solve for negative log of 1.8 times 10 to the negative fifth. That's 4.74. pKa plus pKb is equal to 14. Therefore, your pKb is equal to 9.26. So 10 equals 9.26 plus the log of NH3, NH4. Then you're going to have 0.74 equals the log of ammonia over ammonium. And finally, 10 raised to 0.74 equals 5.50, which is the ratio of your moles of ammonia to moles of ammonium.